everyone, have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about finding the arithmetic means in the shortest way. This is a grade 10 lesson for week 3 in the first quarter. And of course, after watching this video, you will have an idea on how to find an arithmetic means, either one arithmetic mean, two arithmetic means, three, or four arithmetic means. Before we go on with finding the arithmetic means, let us try to define first arithmetic means. Arithmetic means are terms between two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Now let's consider the following examples. First example, the arithmetic sequence 1, 5, 9, 5 is the arithmetic mean between 1 and 9. Another example, in the arithmetic sequence 3, 10, 17, 24, 10 and 17 are also the arithmetic means between 3 and 24. Third example, negative 5, negative 11, negative 17, negative 23, negative 29. Negative 11, negative 17, and negative 23 are the arithmetic means between negative 5 and negative 29. Negative 11 is also called as the first arithmetic mean. Negative 17 is the second arithmetic mean, and negative 23 is the third arithmetic mean. Now let's consider the first example. Find the arithmetic mean between 15 and negative 9. The fastest and the shortest way to solve the arithmetic mean between two given numbers is to add the two numbers and divide it one by two. Because when we're talking about arithmetic mean, we're actually solving for the average between the two numbers. So we have 15 plus negative nine divided by two. So 15 plus negative nine, that is equal to six. And six divided by two, the answer is three. So it means that the arithmetic mean between 15 and negative 9 is 3. Now let's consider the second example. Insert two arithmetic means between negative 2 and 7. So for our solution, we have to solve first for the common difference. But before we go on, let me illustrate to you the problem in this way. So negative 2 is the first term. The two blanks are the two arithmetic means that we are going to insert and 7 is the last term. So with this, we have already the value of our a sub n or the last term which is 7. Next, for our first term, of course, we have negative 2. For our n or the number of terms, we have 4 because we have Four terms all in all, we have one, two, three, and four. Now, we are going to solve for the common difference by using the n term formula. First, write the n term formula. a sub n equals a sub one plus quantity of n minus one times g. Now, substitute the values. So our a sub n is seven, a sub one is negative two, n is four minus one, times d. Now let's simplify further. Just copy 7, copy negative 2. 4 minus 1, that is 3, times d. So we have 3d. To solve for d, we have to transpose negative 2 to the left side of the equation. So, the resulting equation now is 7, just copy, negative 2 becomes positive 2, and bring down 3D. 
Next, we are going to add 7 and 2. So, 7 plus 2 is 9. Bring down 3D. To solve for D, we have to divide both sides of the equations by 3. So, 3D divided by 3, that is equal to D. And 9 divided by 3, of course, that is equal to 3. So, we have now the value of the common difference, which is equal to 3. Since we already have the value of the common difference, which is equal to 3, the next thing we're going to do is to add the first term, which is negative 2, by the common difference 3. So negative 2 plus 3, that is equal to 1. So we have now the first arithmetic mean. The detailed solution for that is we have second term is equal to the first term plus the common difference. So our first term is negative 2 plus 3. Of course, the answer is 1. That is why we have here 1. Now, to get the next term or the second arithmetic mean, we have to add 1 by 3. So 1 plus 3, that is equal to 4. For the detailed solution, we have third term is equal to the second term plus the common difference. So our second term, we already have the value which is 1 plus 3. So therefore, we have 4 as our third term or the second arithmetic mean. So the two arithmetic means between negative 2 and 7 are 1 and 4. Now let's have the third example. Insert three arithmetic means between 6 and 54. Okay, first we can illustrate the given problem in this way. We have 6 and the three arithmetic means. We have the first, the second, and the third. And last is we have 54. If we have observed the number of arithmetic means that we are going to insert is an odd number. So it would be easy for us to solve for the arithmetic means. We can solve the second arithmetic mean right away. The second arithmetic mean, and that is the third term. How? Just add 6 and 54. Then divide it one by 2. So 6 plus 54, that is equal to 60. And divided by, by 2, that is 30. So we have now our second arithmetic mean, which is 30. Next, we have to solve for the first arithmetic mean. Just add 6 and 30 and divide that one by 2. So for our solution, for our second term, or the first arithmetic mean is 6 plus 30, that is equal to 36, divided by 2, so the answer is 18. So we have now our second term, which is the first arithmetic mean. Next, we're going to solve for the fourth term, which is the third arithmetic mean. So, 30 30 plus 54 all over 2. 30 plus 54, that is 84, divided by 2. So the answer is 42. So 42 is our third arithmetic mean. So we can now conclude that the three arithmetic means between 6 and 54 are 18, 30, and 42. Now let's have the fourth example. Insert four arithmetic means between negative 6 and negative 26. So for our solution, we have to solve also for the common difference. But let me illustrate to you the given problem in this way. So negative 6 is the first term. The four blanks are the four arithmetic means that we are going to insert 
and negative 26 is the last term. Now, before we can solve for the common difference, we have also to determine the values of first term, which is equal to negative 6. Next, a sub n, or the last term, is equal to negative 26. n, or the number of terms, is 6. We have 6 terms all in all. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So, we have 6 terms all in all. Now, we are going to solve for the common difference. We have to make use of the n-term formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times t. Now, let's substitute. So, our a sub n is negative 26. First term is negative 6. Plus n is 6. Minus 1. And it will be multiplied by d. Remember, we're going to solve for the value of d, or the common difference. Simplify further. Just copy negative 26. Copy also negative 6. And 6 minus 1, that is equal to 5 times d. We have 5d. Now, to solve for d, we have to transpose negative 6 to the left side of the equation. So, this will become negative 26 plus 6. Bring down 5d. And add negative 26 plus 6. Of course, the answer is negative 20. Bring down 5d. Now, to solve for d, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So, 5d divided by 5, the answer is d. And of course, negative 20 divided by 5, the answer is negative 4. So, we have now the value of the common difference, which is equal to negative 4. Since we have already the common difference of negative 4, it would be easy for us to get the next term. So, how? So, negative 6 plus negative 4, of course, that is equal to negative 10. For the detailed solution, if you want, then we can have the second term is equal to the first term plus the common difference. So, first term is negative 6 plus the common difference, which is negative 4. So, we have negative 10. Next, to solve for the next term, we have negative 10 plus the common difference. So, negative 10 plus negative 4, that is equal to negative 14. The detailed solution would be the third term, that is equal to the second term, plus common difference. So, we have negative 10 plus negative 4, and of course, negative 10 plus negative 4, that is equal to negative 14. Next, to get the next term, just add the common difference. So, negative 4, negative 14 plus negative 4, that is equal to negative 18. Now, for the detailed solution, the same we have. Fourth term is equal to third term plus the common difference. So, our fourth term is negative 14 plus negative 4 as our common difference. So, we have negative 18 as our fourth term. Now, to get the next term, we have to add again negative 18 plus the common difference is negative 4. So, that is equal to negative 22. For the little solution, we have the fifth term is equal to fourth term plus the common difference. So, our fourth term is negative 18 plus the common difference, which is negative 4. So, negative 18 plus negative 4, that is equal to negative 22. Then, we're done. So, therefore, the four arithmetic means between negative 6 and negative 26 are negative 10, 
negative 14, negative 18, and negative 22. That's all for today, guys. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs 16, verse 3. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you learned something, don't forget to like. And if you have questions or clarifications regarding the video, just comment down your questions in the comment box. Don't forget to share to the other students for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. That's all for today and God bless you all.